Pew! Finally 2,000 points! My god, that was hard. <laughs> I mean, it started to get hard. Whew, well, as you can see, I've been a bit buzzy. <laughs> Like I put it like the um, the very easy ones to deal with because my computer is very laggy. So well, like when I try to flip up flip up the camera or like put on the mask and stuff like that, it's, it's very laggy. So I have to be very careful about it. But as you can see, I put them twenty, him twenty, him twenty, and him twenty because they're very easy to to get rid of uh, this one only one of course and these ones only one because they they gave, they gave me a lot of trouble with Nightmare Freddy and uh, Phantom Freddy over there um, Freddy is not a problem uh, same for Jacko Chica because one time I put it her at five and um, I got just jump scared by her because it was too noisy Yep, uh, and because I put it some some of these as well, so uh, with the heat and everything, so yeah. Rockstar Freddy is a bit of a shitty head because, like, right at the start, one time, uh, he wanted me to give him five coins, and I was like, I don't have any coins. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. What do I do? And then I got jump scared by him. I was like, fuck. I've been doing this for like thirty minutes, I think. Um, yeah, so even if my computer is very laggy, I did um, this, I did 2,000 points. Uh, I dare you to do more, guys. <laughs> I mean, I just took the, like, the easy ones. So, yeah. So I have, if you cannot really see it, uh, 13 for Freddy, 10 and 10 for Toy, Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica. One for Balloon Boy, one for JJ, eight for Withered Bonnie, twenty for Withered Golden Freddy, eleven for Phantom Mango and Phantom BB, twenty for Phantom Freddy, twelve for for Nightmare Freddy. My God, I cannot have their names. <laughs> one for Jacko Chica, eleven for Nightmarion, twenty for uh, Helpy and the Trash Gang, one for the Music Man. 2 for uh, Funtime Chica and 20 for Fungi because Fungi is not like he's not annoying I mean for these types of challenges he's not annoying so I guess it's okay I dare you all guys to do more <laughs> and I really want to know your scores and stuff like that if you play the, if you play the game because my god this is like you have to pay attention to everything like I put it some nightmares and stuff, but like or like uh, the ones that you have to buy plushies. But I got jump scared. Oh my god! By who I got jump scared? I got jump scared by Freddy, Golden Freddy. Um. Um. But baby, Night Marion. Um. Uh, Rockstar Freddy. Uh, Jacko Chica, and if I, if I'm not wrong, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think that's it. Uh, I tried to put m old man consequences, but because my computer is laggy, like every time I I click on the C, it's very very hard like to catch the fish, and so my. A camera gets the same ball, and I cannot look out for Freddy for the fast coins and stuff like that. So it's very annoying. Um, but yeah, anyways, <sighs> my God, this is very stressful. <laughs> that was stressful, but it was very easy. So if you want to do the same challenge as as I mean this one, this challenge here, you can do it. I dare you. <laughs> I mean. It's easy. It's an easy challenge. This one is an easy one. Even if I, it doesn't look like it, but it is. I mean, me, I have a very laggy computer, and I did it. So, I got to see two cutscenes. 
um, the Japanese one and the the Toy Chica one. That's that was so cringy. These are very cringy, <laughs> but I mean, that's Scott, you know. He's like, you know what? The fandom is already very weird, so I'm gonna put these, and some people are gonna get very very happy about them. And I'm like, that's so cringy. Please stop, Scott. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, so I tried um, with um, Neymar, Bonnie, uh, Neymar Mango, All Man Consequences, Baby, uh, Rockstar Bonnie, uh, these ones, so the frog, the hippo, the pig, and Ned Bear, um, with the chip, the L chip as well, but it got me a lot of trouble. Yeah, especially the ones that you have to buy plushies, because, be like I said, because my computer is very laggy, like, I cannot switch on cameras uh, fast enough to have the voice coins. I just have enough for Rockstar Freddy, so if I have to buy for Baby, Nymer, um Bonnie, and Nymer Mango, it's gonna be very hard. So yeah, I just put them on 5 and I got directly jump scared by Baby, and that was very annoying. So, yeah, and oh yeah, I forgot I put it uh, five on Nightmare Balloon Boy, but you know because I I have to get rid of um, Phantom Freddy and Nightmare Freddy, I have to use the flashlight. But uh, you know Nightmare Balloon Boy doesn't like flashlight when you when he's just sitting down, so he just jump scares you. Um, yeah, so I got jump scared by him as well. Uh, and I think that's it. Yep. I don't want like to put the um, the ones in the vent yet because well, I can like I said, <laughs> my computer is very laggy, so I cannot really like um. Uh, how can I say that? I cannot get rid of them easily, like to shut the the, the vent snares and everything. So it's a bit hard about it. By the way, I'm very surprised that Funtime Foxy is a guy. Yes! Funtime Foxy has been confirmed as being a boy. Because firstly it says... Well, sorry. It says his and everything. Uh, his, his and everything. So, but, but I was like, well, it's custom night, so it's not canon, right? So I was like, yeah, he's playing a bit with this, saying, oh, maybe it's a he or it's a she and stuff like that. A bit like Mango, because Mango's voice is a girl and a boy. I mean, Mango is a dog now, if you have seen uh, the video about the video MadPad did. Um, and it got confirmed by Scott, so. Uh, so it's. <laughs> Mango is a dog, I guess. She's not a fox anymore. Um, yeah, so. Like, Mango has a girl and a boy voice. But. Phantom Foxy is directly a boy, literally. It's so weird. If you have seen like um, some clips or like uh, um, live streams and stuff like that, if some of them got jump scared by Phantom Foxy, you obviously know that it's a boyish voice completely. It's like an announcer voice or like a, I don't know, a showman uh, voice. It's so weird. Uh, I mean, he's, oh, it's so weird to say he, he's putting on a show, so you have to watch him and stuff. I didn't put, um, but I'm Foxy because it, w it wouldn't be right, you know, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. I ju I'm just doing this video just to say that I'm working on it, even if my computer doesn't work with me, I don't care. And by the way, it, it was confirmed that, uh, JJ has the same hat as, ba as Balloon Boy, baby, no. Balloon Boy, because we never knew that because she was like under the um, the desk and he, we never saw it, but now we know. So yeah, so we have some things. Um, the cutscenes are not like lore based at all. I mean, for the ones that I saw, they're not lore based at all. Um, but the voices sometimes, yeah, because I got jump scared by a lot of these guys over there. 
Um, so I had like some lines. I'm a bit sad that Freddy and Golden Freddy don't have a voice because I got jump scared by both of them. And, like they don't have a voice. It's so weird. Like I've heard all of their voices. And they're so weird, you know, on the internet. Uh, the one, the one for for um, Withered Bonnie and Withered Chica was so weird. Like, they're so broken and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, and the ones for the the FNAF Six new animatronics, like it's so weird. I didn't think like they would have that voice. You know, like th these normal voices. I mean, they're pretty um, brand new. You know, brand new looking. So. That could explain why they have like a voice like this. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this part of the video. I'm I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the intro or outro or something. Like that. I don't know. Might put it on the intro because just to say you know uh, what I've done already. So if you want to do the challenge, do it. I'm very open to to hear your scores and stuff like that. If you are very interesting about this game. Because I am a big fan of the FNAF series. I mean, I have. Uh, what are these? Uh, I have the books and stuff. I have two books here. I have a book. Where it is? It's under here, I think. No, wait. wait I'm gonna check. Where's the third book that I have? Oh, it's there, okay. I have the Freddy's files as well. Come here. Jeez. No, you're not gonna fall. No. Like here, I have the Freddy's files and stuff. Very cool. Um, this one is a very cool book, by the way. If you if you're interesting on buying it, you can buy it. It's very very interesting. Uh, these two ones, I I read the um, the stories. They're very great, by the way. Um, about Charlie's life and stuff like that. What is happening with Dave and stuff. Dave being the purple guy. Uh, I don't think I can like put a spoiler alert or something like that because, well, you know, everybody knows the story now. <clears throat> so I'm very sorry about my voice again because, firstly, it's midnight. Uh, yes, it's actually midnight here. You can see it there. Uh, you can see it there. Yeah, I'm watching TV as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing a lot of things at the same time. Uh, I even ate a sandwich just right now. Chicken sandwich. Yep. <laughs> I love chicken. Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm a fox, I guess. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Um, my god. I just love FNAF. I just love FNAF, man. I don't know, I'm a big fan of NAF. I don't know. So cool! I mean... I don't get the people who hate on FNAF and stuff. Wait, I'm gonna... Boom, because it's a bit loud, I guess. I can uh, hear myself and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know why people are hating on FNAF and stuff like that. I'm like... It, why are you hating on it? I mean... Yeah, you, you can hate on the cringy people or like, um, like, um, insulting things and stuff like that about them. Yeah, okay. But like, why? It's a very cool game and very new, brand new and unique mechanics and stuff. And like, with animatronics and stuff like that. Like, it's so, so cool. I mean, the idea of it's so, I don't know. It's a very great idea, I and mean, I'm very proud that Scott did this because, my god, he's, I guess he's gonna, I mean, he's uh, happy of what he did already, but my god, jeez, I, I don't have the words to describe it, oh my god, <clears throat> So yeah, so all the characters are very cool, the mechanics are very well made and very well thinking. Uh, well thought, I guess. Um, some of them are very horrible, like, it's just pure luck based. Like, you have to get a lot of luck to beat them. 
But, I mean, it's, you know, it's the ultimate custom knight, so of course it's gonna be a bit hard. Um, mm -hmm. The jump scares are very cool. Yeah, they're all brand new, and that is very cool. Uh, the voices are pretty great. I mean, some of the animatronics, I'm like, meh. I don't think that that voice could suit them. It's like Funtime Foxy. Like, I was, like, super surprised because I didn't think of that voice at all. It's like a, yeah, it's like an announcer voice. Like, ladies and gentlemen, na -na 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 -na, and everything. It's so weird. Like, it has that, that, um, that, I don't know, that microphone sound. I don't know, like, like, Final Foxy is, like, um, talking in a microphone in, like, on the stage and just talking to a lot of people. I don't know. His voice is so weird. Um... It's like a radio, radio voice, radiatic. I don't even know if that's a word. Um, yeah. Some of them do not have voices, which I'm a bit sad about. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Scott does what he wants, but I don't know. I really thought that they would all have uh, voices, because I'll be like, well, that's pretty cool. I mean, some of them we already know how they sound, or like, we know how they could sound, because just by looking at them. I'm, I was very surprised uh, for a lot of voices, not only for them Foxy, but like a lot of voices. Like Nightmare Mangle, uh, Night Marion, uh, Toy Chica, actually, uh, whether Chica, whether Bonnie was surprised. Um... Rockstar Bonnie, uh, Rockstar Chica. A uh, Rockstar Chica. She sounds like a bit like Undyne. It was so weird. I was like, okay, Undyne. Did you voice the uh, Rockstar Chica? I think that a lot of people are gonna say that because I mean it's exactly the same voice. Um, yeah, the FNAF Six brand new animatronics are very weird voiced. I don't know. They have a very weird voices. Nightmare BB is a bit weird as well. I don't think I said it already. <laughs> Nightmare Mangle, it's not even it's not even a voice. It's just garbage, I guess. <laughs> it's just I don't know. She's just saying things that we don't understand, I guess. It's just radio static uh, sounds and stuff. So yeah. Uh, the Nightmares animatronics are a bit weird, but I mean, I could hear these voices for them, so I'm like, not that surprised. Jaco Chica was a bit surprised, because I was like, my god, what the fuck is that, like, whispering voice? But, yeah. But that suits her, so... I guess. Um, I didn't see Dee Dee's, um... Like, uh, secret animatronics, because I... Like, I don't have them all um, putting on a level, like, even level 1, because, well, I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's gonna be impossible on my computer. So, yeah. Um, um, Toy Freddy a bit as well, because Toy Freddy sounds like a big, like, I don't know, it sounds goofy a bit. I don't know, it's so weird. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, but the others are very great. Uh, Ennard is a bit weird. I didn't think he would have uh, this voice. Yeah, I'm saying he because it has been confirmed that he it's a boy and not a girl. Uh, because everybody was like, well, it's baby and everything. But no. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean, we don't know if it's canon or not. You know what I mean? Because it's ultimate custom then, but like, it's another game. So it could be the a canon. You, you know what I mean? It's so hard to explain. Like, because some of the voices, they have some lore behind it. Even Candy Cadet, if when it speaks, uh, you can hear like some things. Like... I heard something from Candy Cadet that, like, literally, I was like, what? <laughs> what did you say? 
uh, something about uh, merging together or something like that. I don't know. It was something like that. Uh, talking about things like um, getting together or stuff like that. I don't know. And I was like remembering uh, the old stories that uh, Candy Kada used to say with the keys, the cats, and uh, I don't remember the other one. Because I have five keys melted to one. The five kitten uh, like stitched together in one. Because they got... Uh, because they got um, eaten by the snake, right? I think it's that. I don't remember, but... Uh, I don't know the third one. I'm sorry. I think it, they're not like kids, maybe? I think they were kids, no? I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking about boxes for some reason. <laughs> why boxes? Yeah, so really, if you if you are a fan of FNAF and you still don't don't have that game, go for it. It's free. You can get it on Steam free. It's very amazing, very well done. The cutscenes are cringy as fuck, but it's very hilarious and very funny. The offices. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I un I unlocked the the sister location office. Oh, wow, just the sister location office is very very cool um, And the original one is very cool as well um, I really want to have like um, the FNAF 3 office, but I, I have to have 5,000 so it's gonna be super hard. I have to do it like in, in another computer or whatever Because I can do it, but not on this computer uh, So yeah, so the power-ups are very helpful. I only use the battery one. The other ones I didn't because, well, they're not... I mean, they're pretty useless to me. The DD Repel, I didn't have them. So, you know, any of um, the DD Repels that um, Rockstar Freddy gives you at the end. When you die or when you beat a knight. So, I only had battery, three coins, and frigid. Uh, Frigid, I, w I did it once, but I was like, this is completely useless. The three coins, I just had one, so I used it. Um, yeah, useful. For, um, for um, Rockstar Freddy, it was pretty useful. Um, and the battery was pretty useful as well, because, well, you always need more and more battery in the game. So thanks to Rockstar Foxy, you can get 1% battery. Uh, like every, I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes or something like that. Maybe not that much, but you know. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say about the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk about games there. I'm not gonna talk about theories and stuff like that. Will I? I mean, I don't know. Like, there's nothing going on uh, about the theories. Like, there's nothing anti or stuff like that. So I guess I'm gonna just leave it here. I mean, if I have to do a theory video just after that, I'm going to do it. But if I don't have to, I'm not gonna do it, of course. So I may leave you here for this video, I guess. I don't know. Might have to see. Uh, so yeah. So I guess I'm not gonna say goodbye to you. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a second part of this video. So yeah. So like I said, if you're a big fan of FNAF, go like go go to have this uh game really. Uh go download it, put it on your computer, uh play it and have fun. Really, it's very cool. Um yeah, it's it's a bit sad that not all of the animatronics in the entire franchise are in here. It's a bit sad. I mean, there are like a lot of missing animatronics, like Golden Freddy, uh, Shadow Freddy, um, Withered Foxy, Withered Freddy, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Phantom Mar Marionette, Phantom Puppet, um, Phantom Golden Freddy, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. 
There's another phantom, I think. But I don't remember who it is. Freddy. Uh, Chica! Phantom Chica! Uh, Nightmare Foxy! Because Nightmare Chica is in it. Uh, Jacko Barney! Um, Plush Trap is in it. Um, Fun Time Freddy! Bon Bon! Yendo, I mean Yendo, yeah, it's it's Golden Freddy basically. So that's that's maybe why he didn't put like the the FNAF one and uh, Golden Freddy and Yendo because it's like basically the same as the Withered Golden Freddy. I wonder why he put it Withered Golden Freddy instead of uh, the actual Golden Freddy. Why? That's weird. But anyway, like why he chose these characters? Maybe because they're like the like the the popular ones. I don't know. I think he put it like the um, the ones that like have a lot of impact, like in the in the franchise, I guess. Because we, like we have, I mean, no, no, because if so, the original Golden Freddy will be here. And not, I mean, original is Withered Golden Freddy, but you know what I mean. Like the FNAF 1 Golden Freddy would be here. Oh, the en endoskeletons are not there as well. The FNAF 1, FNAF 2, and the FNAF World 1. I mean, the FNAF World 1, well. I mean, they were supposed to be like, uh, to have uh, the adventure FNAF 1 endoskeleton. If you remember the old teasers for that game, but I don't know why he didn't put he he didn't put like any FNAF world in in the game. Don't know why. I I mean he he did with old man consequences, but I mean it's not really a character, I guess. Well, yes, it is because he's like an enemy, right? No, he. No, he's not an enemy. He's like a mini game. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a long time that I haven't played uh, FNAF World, so yeah, might have to play a bit of FNAF World next time. <laughs> so yeah, Whew, my eyes are just burning. I have one of my eyes. My left eye is just hurting the shit out of me. My God, I don't know why. Like it's a, like a ow. Fuck! I just hurt myself. <laughs> Like I have a bubble like around my my eye and it just keeps like popping. You know what I mean? Like it hurts so much. Because it's hurting my entire eye. <sighs> I wish I wish I could do something to get rid of it. I don't know, but anyways. So it's very warm in this freaking room because it's hot as shit outside. It's 31 degrees outside. <laughs> Like damn, it never been that hot like here in the no in the north of France. Never been that hot, so I mean maybe sometimes but not that early. Not in June. It used to be like in, in middle July or stuff like that, but not in June. So it's weird. I just ate a sandwich, I just drink fano and stuff like that. I'm just saying my life right now. So yeah. I got very prepared to do the 2,000 points uh, for the ultimate custom night uh, challenge that I gave me that I gave to myself I got prepared everything here and stuff even the light on the TV just because well I was watching TV so yes yeah, so I think that's it I think that's all I have to say right is it all I have to say I think so Yes, it is. Yep. So I'm not gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say goodbye to you. Um. Again, sorry for my voice and how I talk and how I ramble and stuff. Because yeah, it's past midnight. It's close to one a.m. and I'm tired. <laughs> and you know, and I'm starting to get sick again. I'm always sick. Like why? What the fuck is happening with my health? 
I'm always sick. I should. I could. I, I should go see a doctor. My God. I mean. Oh, I cannot see my doctor because my doctor is not. Oh, my doctor doesn't work anymore. Oh shit! I don't have any doctors so left. I don't have any doctors left. Shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, I I have one in my head, I guess, but that doesn't count. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a shame. Well, anyway, okay, so I guess I'm gonna get sick for a long time. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed this first part of the video, and see you all in a few seconds. Epilepsy warning! What are you doing? <laughs> Light, are you okay? You're not feeling fine. Oh, my eyes. Jeez. Ah, hurts. Maybe your eyes as well. I mean, I know it doesn't seem that bad in the video. So, yeah. <sighs> but because it's in the entire room, it just hurts my freaking eyes. Jeez. Look at this. Freaking bag. It's like it's going to explode. I'm very scared. So yeah. That's why of the epilepsy warning. I just wanted to show you this because it just happened. Uh, it's brand new. New in Tangle's house. Haunting light. <laughs> Haunted light. So yeah, so it's basically... You can see some lights. The blue light is... Um, the, I mean the blue... Uh, black light. Uh white light sorry is the TV and the greenish light here is just the microwave yeah here wait fucking bag jeez out of my way here is the <laughs> freaking microwave and here is the TV so yeah here it's the time you can see here it's almost 1am I'm tired so tired <laughs> I just wanted to show you this because I like I was like um okay um today you were working fine light but now you're not working as well maybe because it's the night it's because it's gonna be the night or you just want to act creepy and stuff I don't know <laughs> anyways see you all again in a few seconds hey guys so today we are the next day we're on Sunday and my god the sickness is killing me right now. Yep, I'm super sick right now. Today, great. <laughs> I mean, I just freaking knew it. Um, yesterday, because I was like, well, I'm starting to get sick. I guess I'm gonna be more sick uh, tomorrow. And that's what I am right now. I'm super sick, so sorry for my voice and stuff like that. <coughs> Oh my god. It's just horrible. Um everything hurts. My throat, my nose, my head, everything. It's just horrible. I say I just got a very bad cold or something like that. I don't know. But my god, horrible. Um yeah, so oh my god, and you you don't know what night I just passed. <laughs> I just had a complete insane night. One of the most terrifying nights I I had in my life. Because you know, I was just sleeping normally. And then I think I had like a night terror or something like that. And like I fell I fell down from my bed, you know? <laughs> I fell on the floor. And like that scared the shit out of me because that surprised me like completely. Uh, because, well, I just hit the floor, so it hurted me. And, like, I just woke up directly, and I was, like, super scared, because everything was just all around the place. <laughs> Nothing was on the bed. <laughs> everything was just around the room. I just, I think I just throw everything during my sleep, and I don't know what happened. <laughs> Maybe I got super scared, and I tried to defend myself or something, and I, I don't know. But, my God, I don't even remember why. What I thought about, really, it's super bizarre. 
Wait a minute. I'm back. Whew. I don't know. I just got super sick for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So, do I have something to tell about the theories? <laughs> Wake up, listen it. Um, yeah. Sort of, because apparently in the live the live stream that um, um, Jack did about the what is it called? Mm. The association, what it's called. I don't know the name of it. Um, okay. What is the name of it? No. Oh, <laughs> super cute. I don't have the name of the freaking charity. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, Able Gamers. Okay. So when he did the Able Gamers, well, I mean, very proud of Jack that he completely destroyed his uh, his goal. Um, very like, damn. <laughs> he was very happy and everything. I watched the stream, <coughs> it was very cool, and watching like uh, all the bandicoot uh, getting completely destroyed by boxes and stuff like that, it's just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> which is incredible. So, I have some things to talk about, because here I'm on Tumblr, I'm on Jacksepticeye's tag, and some people are saying, because I missed a big part of Jack's stream, of course, uh, and somebody called Jack Jack's insanity. I mean, like I didn't na I didn't say any mistake. It's called Jack's insanity. <laughs> oh God! So that person is saying, "Oh God, Jack wants to do a bigger stream in July or August. Have a lot more people this time, and quote unquote." Have it like a mini Christmas stream. War flashbacks, war flashbacks. <laughs> Can we panic now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you all know what is that uh, mini Christmas stream is gonna be. Because, sorry, because we all remember what is that Christmas tree about. Stream about Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas stream about. Mm -hmm. No, some of you don't know. Really? If if I tell you off a night watch, <laughs> do you know now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, no. no, no. <laughs> oh, here it said as well by Rug of Broken Time. Again, goddamn, you you're in every single. Um, theory video of mine. So, uh, Sean wants to do a bigger multiple person spectacle charity live stream in July or August, and in his own world words, have it be like a mini Christmas stream. Huh. <laughs> Sweets in o overnight watch. Oh, yeah, overnight watch anti theories flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, completely. Oh no. Oh, I think this is gonna be it. I think this is gonna be the time that we all die. Screaming in the freaking, in the freaking chat and screaming in every social media. <laughs> so, we have to get prepared for July or August because he doesn't know yet, apparently. 
Yeah, because yeah, everybody's saying July or August. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. This is not great. So firstly, I have that. Secondly, a bit septuplier, <laughs> I guess, because uh, Marco Bro was doing a live stream uh, on FNAF, on FNAF Six uh, Ultimate Custom Night, and he like he put it a a link to Jack's stream and everything, so everybody was like, Septiply away! And I was like, yeah? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> <coughs> I mean... I mean, they're friends, so... Um, nothing else? I think I saw something else, but... Oh yeah, people are talking uh, about the... The what happened in in exiles again, like some people are talking about this, saying that it was legitimately very terrifying and stuff like that, and I completely agree. <laughs> I freaking completely agree. Uh, we why we 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 we. No, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh yeah, that that was it. Okay, so. Do you wonder, like, how old is the name Chase Brody? Maybe you think that Chase Brody, the name and the character, got born uh, during the Bro Average video, but no! In 2014, Jacksepticeye uh, said Chase Brody and stuff like that, saying that it was a very American, um, very American name. Wait, I'm. Might have to show you there, you know. Get you get the reference. Wait, 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 wait stop. Yeah, Chase Brody. Boom. Okay. <coughs> so sorry for the quality. It's just that well, the video is not in a good quality. So hopefully you can hear. Yeah. Alexandria, Jolie, Chad, Xander. Oh my god, Xander. That's such an American name. Xander, Chase, Brody. Such an American name. You see? I don't know if you can if you if you heard it, but he literally he even said Chad, by the way. I just realized he said Chad. So Chad and Chase like got born since this day. My god. <laughs> It's a game about, uh, well, I don't know, douchebag chick, how to be beautiful. That's how it, the, the episode is called. Um, yeah, so, interesting, isn't it? Because everybody is saying that, uh, like, all for all this time it was Enchi, like, uh, pretending being Jack and stuff like that, and then... Killed himself uh, in Say Goodbye, <clears throat> pretending that he killed Jack to to say, "Oh, look, Jack can never. He was never like a, a real thing. He was just like a character that I played and stuff like that." And now, like we can see that Chase Brody and Chad were there for a very long time as well, which is weird. Mm hmm. That's interesting. <coughs> so, Angie and uh, <laughs> suck it in the name of charity. <laughs> so, Chase Brody and Angie were there a while, fuck, a while before um, their um, I don't know, their first appearance on the channel, I guess. <coughs> Which is very interesting because if we if we can find like Marvin or like um maybe not Marvin but like Schneeve like Henry you know and stuff like that, well it's gonna get insane because we'll be like well wait so all of the <coughs> all of the egos were there like a while before and we didn't notice that which is interesting. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, anti coffee beans is saying in capital letters Remember slash zoom? No, 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 I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> oh, Do you really think that I don't remember this slash zoom? The video I did about this is my is my most viewed video <laughs> So of course I know what slash zoom is <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna do. A... He's literally gonna do a freaking live stream like this. Like what happened in. Uh, during Christmas. Oh no. I'm not ready. I don't know if you are, but me. Uh, no. I'm not ready. Not at all. <clears throat> I'm still. Oh. Oh, Brian and. I Amela. Amela are getting married. Oh, Connor. Oh my god, yeah. My god. So, Brian, aka Connor, is getting married. Jack and Marco Bro did live streams. <laughs> my god. Interesting. <laughs> Jack is gonna get jealous. <laughs> He's gonna be like, Connor, no! Why you didn't marry me? <laughs> I mean, I guess Jack can. Uh, he already said that um, he wanted to marry Robin, so I guess. Oh, woo woo woo. What? Okay. These people are loving Jack too much, I think. <laughs> My god. Oh no! Anti coffee beans again! <laughs> no! I don't want to remember this! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> How fucking dare you! How dare you! <laughs> no, I'm not ready. I'm still not ready. No, I mean, I mean, kind of because I really want to see what he's gonna do, but not because I don't want to cry and die and scream all the time. No. Oh no. Well. Come on, Tumblr, you're not loading fast enough. It's not loading at all. <laughs> Ready, great, I guess. Uh, wait, I'm gonna check Anti Coffee Beans' uh, account. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I just heard a sound next to me and that scared the shit out of me. I think it was just me. <laughs> so, Anti Coffee Beans. What a beautiful name. Leslie, okay, that's your name. Um, okay. And I see your account, like completely. I don't know how you do this. Uh I cannot look through here. Anyway, so yeah, so get prepared. Get your freaking pens and books. Uh, you know, like uh, <clears throat> um, get your um theory books ready for some shit because my God, let's get ready to rumble again. <laughs> oh no, Jack, what have you done? No, every series is just crying right now. I can hear them, you know. <laughs> it's a, it's a very hard time, you know. Mm -hmm. Ocean man. Shh. 
Yeah, and if you keep drawing Angie as well, uh, it's not gonna get, you know, it's gonna, it's not gonna get, it's not gonna be good. Okay, stop it, please, please. I know you love the RGB colors, but come on, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Remember to smile. Remember to smile. It was a face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I don't know. I'm still in FNAF. <laughs> I mean, 2,000 points for what I did um, yesterday is pretty great. What is this? Trapped, no escape. Uh, follow. Don't even try. Uh, choose. Can't breathe. Wow. Meaningless noise. Jeez. Oh, here we have uh, just myself. My god, that's very well made. That's creepy. That's creepy. Uh, next page. I'm just trying to... I'm searching for, for things that I can talk about, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Like a, a lot of people are drawing uh, Jackie Boy Man as well. Like, <laughs> jeez. Like I've been looking through some images like on uh, Jack's tag, and like everybody's drawing Jackie Boy Man for some reason. What is this? Not working, right? Hello, hello, anybody here on Tumblr, 4K, no, fuck, apparently there, were, there was a joke, but not here, apparently, yeah, anti again, when you suddenly realize you left the cooker on, <laughs> Oh, that face, that's glorious, look at this. That's completely glorious, look at this. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's a lot of uh, Jameson Jackson things as well. Oh, Marvin, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> look at this, it's super cute. Oh my God, the cutest cat ever in my, that I've seen in my life. I mean, I love cats. I freaking love Marvin. He's so cute. Oh, there's even a little story. Oh. Okay, so, <laughs> so Jack and Connor, or like, or should I say, Sean and Brian, they all, they, they, they look alike. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Marcus? <laughs> oh my god. That's where I can explain. <laughs> it's Connor. He told me to. He told me to draw that painting. My god! He told me to! It's not my fault! I swear! <laughs> Do you ever look at this shine boy and this sunshine boy and think. <clears throat> Good cop, bad cop. Jeez, how do you do these things? My god, <clears throat> my voice is gonna just shut down soon. <laughs> um, okay. 
Oh, that's disturbing. A <laughs> bitch. Some anti things again. Let's be honest, Jack is a guy who loves Connor more than all of us Connor fans. <laughs> My buddy Connor. He's so cool. I like Connor a lot. Also, Connor is my dude. Connor's the man. Ooh, are we going back to my boy Connor? Yeah. Connor's the most interesting one to me. I want a whole game that's just Connor's storyline. I don't care about the other ones. Well, I do, but Connor's Connor's the best one. Oh, Connor, don't. You're perfect hair. Connor's so cool. I want to be like Connor when I grow up. Oh, yeah. Let my boy out of it. Watch out! What the fuck? Connor! You're not dead! Oh, thank God. Connor, I'm so glad you're not dead. I love these guys. They're so cute. Oh, this is dope. You're a fucking badass. Connor's a beast! Yay, Connor! Did he just shoulder check my boy? No, oh, don't hurt my boy! Ow. My perfect droid android boy face! Oh god, oh god, don't hurt Connor! Look at him. Beautiful baby. I was scared. <laughs> there he is. It's the boy. cute. Yeah, the god damn it. <coughs> cute. I need more time. Alright, we can do this, Connor. I'll be your Hank. Yeah, it's my boy! Oh, he's so cute. He looks just like a regular person now. My boy! Oh, he's so fucking badass. Don't say that, baby boy. <laughs> my boy! Oh, don't touch my boy! Okay, yeah, Jack loves Connor a bit, a bit too much. Oh, by the way, talking about Connor, I like I watched your live stream like. I was not like in the live stream, you know. I, I was just watching it, you know, after the live stream itself. And my God, you wanna see something creepy as fuck? Wait, I'm gonna go on YouTube. I saw that live stream of Connor, you know, like right before the game got released. And my God, this is creepy as hell. Like, it's it's like um, it's literally. Uh, Detroit become human in real life, and uh, my God, Connor, it, like was deviant all along, <laughs> and he's so creepy. He was so creepy. My God. <sighs> um, there, boom. And a lot of people are making a lot of live streams. Um, of oh, FNAF Ultimate Custom Night. Ah, <laughs> uh, there. Connor in real life interactive theater. Uh, at the... At the... Hashtag Detroit 2038 premiere. By Brian himself, so... You know. By Connor himself, I guess. Oh, this thing is so creepy. Like, the way he looks at the camera and the way he waves and stuff, just so creepy. It's a two hours long um, video, if you want to check it out. It's very, very creepy. I mean, mostly at the beginning it's creepy. And then, like, it's like, a, like an interactive um, story. Like, wait, okay, let's just see here. Like, you see, like, there's some people here, like, fans or journalists or stuff like that. It's Connor. There's the the character that you have to um, choose the answers and stuff from. Uh, just like this guy as well. Uh, so like, um, this girl is being interviewed by him. And like, you can see here like the, the buttons of um, the control the controller. And then here like you have some answers. They got, they, they are written on the freaking uh, TV, and then you have, like, they have to choose the right answer to continue the story and stuff like that, just like Detroit. It's very well made and very cool, but at the beginning, like, uh, like, 
I, I don't know, Connor is just walking around randomly, and he just looks at the camera and then waves, like, very slowly, it's so creepy. Wait, I'm gonna let you see it, because for the people who are a bit lazy to go check this out, <laughs> everybody can be happy. Uh, where does it start? Oh, it starts here. Yeah, and he always stays at one place, it's so weird. Like, he just, like, stays here, put it, its fingers his fingers on the on the table and just stopped moving he just stops moving my god my dog is barking again jeez he needs to stop <laughs> a big boy so wait where is the creepy moment <laughs> corner you're a badass i love the, the chat Where's the time that he waves at the camera very creepily? Ah, uh, oh, there I think, no? Maybe, wait. So he looks at some... things there. That's so dope. It's so cool but creepy at the same time. What do you see? It's Connor! They draw it by sub sent by Summer Life. <laughs> He's just writing stuff. Wait, it's so creepy. Like it's getting more and more creepy for the video. And then like all the people come so it's not as creepy as it is there. I think it's here. <clears throat> My nose is running. And look, he just stays here. He puts his fingers on the table and stays here. Look around. It's just so creepy. Is he gonna look at the camera? Go on, Connor. Yeah! Hey! Look! <laughs> That's so creepy. Look at this. Just saying hi. I just, I, I completely adore it. I watched like um, 30 minutes of it already and it's freaking amazing. I love it so much. Yeah. It's very well made. Uh, I'm very proud of the people who did the game. <laughs> I mean, they're French, so of course. No, okay. <laughs> I mean, like, jeez. Um. Yeah, like that game, uh, Detroit Become Human, is like completely incredible. All five Connor's coin tricks. <laughs> okay, some people are like doing uh, uh, a Brian versus Connor thing. <laughs> it's so weird. Just imagine if in 2038. This happens, you know, like literal, literally, like androids becoming deviants and like want to either destroy the hu the human the humanity, or uh, help the humanity, um, like um, um, know uh, how important the deviants are. It's very great, very well made and stuff. I just adore it. But yeah, like I said, just imagine if it happens in real life. My God, we're all gonna get scared, right? <laughs> My God. <clears throat> Whoo! So about theory. So somebody. Okay. Oh, by the way, 
the version of animal that Yokan Granai did, you know, the anti night core, like blessed me literally. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Firstly, I love anti. I love that song. Both together is just my. It's just perfect. <laughs> so thanks, Yuka. Thank you very much for doing this. <laughs> I mean, all of her um, anti night course videos are fucking incredible. Just love them. Uh, what is with those colors? Yeah. So Lucia Alta Miranda. Uh, said it don't make sense now. Holy, holy heck! This threw my theory out of the window. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. I think I think it's just um. Okay, I think it's just like uh, irony, <laughs> anti dancing. <clears throat> Technical difficulties. Maybe the purple could represent Jack and some of his ego stuck in between, going good or bad. I don't know. It's possible that Jack is hinting at that. What do you mean about that? Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't talk about this because I didn't, I just completely forgot about, um, wait. Yeah, so firstly, uh, the red and the blue, um, on, ja on Anti's merch, I, I think I completely forgot to talk about this. I'm not sure, I might have, did I talk about it? I don't think so. I think I completely forgot about it. But like... You remember Auntie's merch? You know, like the hoodie and the t-shirt? Well, around Auntie's face, uh, there are the blue and red lights. So, so yeah, so, it, w it was like foreshadowing a bit. I mean, Jack loves foreshadowing things. <laughs> His face is all red. <laughs> that made me laugh so badly. Well, we're gonna watch a bit some Yokai Grenade video this I don't, I don't remember what she said during that moment it's all red like what the hell auntie his face is all red <laughs> what the hell auntie his face is all red oh that made me laugh so hard <laughs> his face is all red <laughs> And by the way, we still don't know uh, who's playing the games. We don't know still. Is it Jack, Chase, or Angie, or even someone else? Oh, and by the way, um, wait, I'm going to talk about uh, the, um, the board first. Uh, yeah, like, ev even, yeah, in the Let's Make Art uh, video... Like, the red and blue lights were there already, which is very interesting. So yeah, it was foreshadowing. Oh no, it was foreshadowed all this time. <laughs> I am not happy about this. It's like here. His face is all red. <laughs> yeah, here. Let's look at this. So this is in red, and this is in purple? I thought it was in blue, but yeah, maybe it's in purple. So the blue light and the red light. So this is the clue. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna murder your ass off, Jack. Because of course it's not the board, the clue. It's the freaking lights. I mean, just obvious, you know, logic. We still don't know what what these things mean and apparently this is the clue to everything my god i'm gonna get insane i mean i'm i'm like doko in 50 20 mode <laughs> right now 
like I'm lo I'm losing my sanity uh, like more and more, and I think by the end of the day I'm gonna completely shut down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. Uh yeah, so all of the things, the merch, na na. Yeah, okay. Nothing there. Okay. Um what I wanted to talk about? Ah fuck. Um the merch the thing. Uh oh crap. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Because do you remember um when Jack said um Anti is my boy? Like, uh, because there's my boy Angie in here. Um, uh, some people said that he was sick. I mean, he said it. Uh, that he was sick, so that's why he said that uh, Angie was his boy. Because he was sick. So he wasn't, like, completely himself, you know what I mean? Like, a bit like he was drunk or something like that. that that's what people said. Um, and I mean, uh, I agree. I mean, it may, it could make sense. I could explain more because I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, he doesn't know about the egos, even Angie, and now he knows Angie for some reason. And he's saying that he, it's his boy and stuff like that. I'm like completely going like in fucking circles. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. It's just. My my sanity is not gonna stay in a <laughs> in a cool manner. It's not gonna stay uh, at at least uh, one hundred percent for a long time. Um, I have nothing else here. No, there's nothing else. Oh, by the way, I want to talk uh, a bit uh, to D Clan right now. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that you cannot hear it or whatever. I'm just watching a video. d uh, I'm just gonna say, bro. Uh, your video that you uploaded Glass Title? That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> like, when I saw the thumbnail, I was like, no. <laughs> but no, it's just, like, a normal video. <laughs> just saying it right now. Um, <laughs> I'm like, oh, somebody's back! But no. Um, <laughs> anyways. That was just a little parenthesis of the day. Uh, do I have anything else to talk about? I don't think so. Might check into Instagram again. Come on. Okay, so Tumblr is just, I guess, doing fine. At least for now. Well, some people are talking, like, about old things of, of Angie because of what Jack said about the the little Christmas stream that is gonna freaking scare the shit out of us again. I mean, he, he just imagine, because for the people who remembers it, who remember uh, uh, what happened uh, in Overnight Watch, um, if you were there, well, just imagine that live stream, you know, like, like, that looks alike, it looks like it, and just think about First Winter and Exiles, and, um, like, take Overnight Watch, or should I say, like, the Jackson the Guy Holiday live charity live stream, you like the entire thing with uh, the overnight watch and stuff like that, like the two parts and stuff, and you take um, Exiles and First Winter and Ty and stuff like that and Dark Silence and everything, and you merge them together, it's gonna be a hell of an experience. <laughs> a hell of an experience. I mean, just think about it. <laughs>
<laughs> Imagine it's just like you're watching a normal stream and then out of nowhere Jack is bleeding from his nose or eyes and stuff like that. So he needs like to run away, like all the people inside the room are completely scared and like like, Are you okay, Jack? Are you okay? Is oh fuck <laughs> And just <laughs> Sorry. It's just like Angie's just glitching through and stuff like that or like oh Oh, that would be so messed up. It, just imagine. Just imagine this. Like, Jack's the guy and, like, some of his friends are doing the live stream. You know, like, completely normal. And then, like, he's starting to bleed from his nose. So he thinks it's just a normal thing. And then he starts bleeding from his eyes. So everybody's getting worried. And, like, the chat is completely filled with, Oh my god, Angie's coming and stuff like that. And, like, Jack's... Jack, uh, like, walks, um, out of the room, can't speak, and then, like, I don't know, change himself or stuff like that, and, like, he wears, like, complete black, like, a black t-shirt, black jeans, um, stuff like that, and, like, I don't know, a knife pin or stuff like that, just, like, in the Christmas live stream that he did, and then, like, he comes back, but it's not Jack, it's Angie himself, can you imagine that, because... We all know that now Anti is more than a glitch. That's confirmed. He's something else. We don't know a demon or whatever. Um, but he's more human than he was, right? I mean, he looks. I mean, he's still very creepy and stuff. But I don't know. He looks more human than before. Maybe it's just my opinion, but it was before he was just a glitch. Then he became a virus. Then now he he has like his. He's like full uh, body, full appearance, physical appearance, and stuff. So yeah. So yeah. So I, I mean, in my opinion, he looks more, um, well, like a demon, but he looks more human than before, and like he could like pretend better being Jack, and that is just. It's just incredible. Yeah. I'm just thinking about something. Uh, for the ones uh, who watched the, the live stream, the, uh, the Christmas live stream, um, do you remember, like, in the part two of the stream, when he, like, he... He was wearing entire black, and then he he wore like a a knife pin and stuff. Well, when he got out to to wear his jumper uh, again, uh, Anti appeared, which is super weird because you cannot edit something that is live, right? I mean, it would make sense. So how Anti got here? You know what I mean? Because y you have to edit the video after the stream. So, like, the stream was live. So, how is that even possible? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't know how they did that. It was very well made. Very well made. <sighs> my god, I'm not prepared. My god. I'm still not recovered from say goodbye, to be honest. <laughs> say goodbye is still here. Um, like, it's just, my god. Me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? Me, I'm not. <laughs> Help me, I'm not ready. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm not ready at all. Oh no. Uh. No, nothing here. No. Okay. There's nothing really to talk about more. <laughs> Aren't red and blue the dark blood colors? Yes, but. Um, well, yeah, it's so weird because why these colors as well? Like, why blue and red? 
Like, these colors have meaning, have a meaning, but what is this? What is the meaning? I don't know. What do they mean? I mean, if you take dark blur, uh, the blue is Damien and the red is Celine and stuff like that. Okay, great, but it's not gonna help us, you know? <laughs> I mean, we all know that these colors are dark blur colors. Oh my god, do not tell me. Just just imagine, I mean, uh, they, they cannot meet. Because, like, anti and dark cannot meet each other. That's why the dark blur versus anti septic guy is not, like, uh, cannot happen at all. Uh, or at least if they, or, like, if uh, anti, like, gets, uh, well, he has now a full body. A f full physical appearance, right? But, like, well, I don't know. Because they don't really live in the same world, I guess. Or something like that, I don't know. Because I guess Anti is living in our world. Um, but, like, Dark, no. He lives in somewhere, I don't know. In complete dark void. <laughs> So, I don't know. I mean, they maybe can meet at one stage, but not now, at least. I don't think so. Um, which is very interesting. My god. Can you imagine how many evil sides got born because of Enchi and Dark? Oh my god, like how many dark sides are there on YouTube or even just on the internet? How many evil sides are there? Oh, like you, you cannot count how many evil sides are there. Oh my god, I'm just <laughs> my phone keeps falling down. Um, like it, it's just incredible just to think about it because. Like, every single YouTuber has an evil side. Like, it's it's now, like, something normal now. Like, when... Like, sometimes I just look at some things on the internet, and then I just see, like, an evil side and stuff like that. I'm like, well, now it's not shocking me anymore that people, like, have evil sides and stuff like that. I'm like, well, now it's normal, I guess. Like, everybody has one. Everybody has its opposite, like uh, their opposite self or stuff like that. Because I guess evil sides are like opposite selves of, our, of ourselves. I guess. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> talking of which, Anti was in Jake's live stream. This is exactly the same title as mine, by the way. <laughs> Your cat? What did you do? By the way, <laughs> you can you just have 1,700 views for this video. And me, I have. More than 3,000, I don't know why. <laughs> People, like, got my video uh, more than yours, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Some radio stations. My god. The Bro Man. What the fuck is that name? The Bro Man. Empty is a glitchy turtle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the turtle I just saw on my thing. If all the people who needs proof that it's like actually a real thing that it didn't like got it like from the internet and stuff, look here. Wait, I'm gonna this because I can't see shit. Look here. <laughs> you see, it's a real thing. Like I didn't photo Photoshop it or anything like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't even have Photoshop, but you know. What I mean? I didn't like edit it. Ugh. Fuck bed. My phone keeps falling down. Stay here, god damn it. My god. Just horrible. Oh my god. My sickness is just killing me right now. <laughs> I want to be alive, you know, I want to stay alive for a very long time, thanks. For at least eight, 
or like 90 years. Please. <laughs> I didn't want to live. I mean, the thing that I know that is that um, when I get old, when I'm going to get old, I'm going to have like problems with my bones because my bones are cracking all the time and apparently because it's like a sickness in the family like like all of the girls in my family have problems with their bones especially the knees and so i will have like big problems with my knees when i will be like old yay because i was not suffering enough <laughs> great <laughs> oh my god Ugh. I mean, my entire body is just cracking all the time. I don't know why. It hurts <laughs> a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot of conspiracy theories. Like Britney Spears and stuff like that. M mind blowing conspiracy theories by Shane. Shane Dawson. I really love uh, his uh, conspiracy theories. Uh, yeah. I completely adore the one that. Um, I don't think I talked about this. No. Uh, the one um, talking about like life being either a game or a simulation. I completely believe in it for some reason because you know, if you want me to believe in something, you have to really like convince me because it's very like, it's very hard to con even to just to convince me to believe in something because I need proofs. I need to see it from myself. I need to you know. Just have real, you know, like facts, actual facts to to make me believe in what you want me to believe in. So, like, it's very, very hard to make me believe in something. But this, like, life being a game, like, I don't know, like, it makes so much sense. It can explain a lot of things. I don't know. Like, when you're sleeping, the night, like, goes very fast because you're, like, quote-unquote saving your game. Just, like, in, in GTA or, like, Zombie U and stuff like that. Beca because they're all sleeping in beds. So, like, I mean, yeah, sure. They're all sleeping in beds. So, and when you sleep on in a bed, you're saving your game and stuff like that. That's why the, the night passes, like, very fast. That's why, like, people who died in a certain date, like... At this during the same year, somebody else uh, like gets bo gets born and just look look a lot like the the person who died in the same year because it's like another life. You know what I mean? Because well, in the video game you have multiple lives and stuff like that. You know, like these type of things just explain some things like this. And and the thing that is much weird. Like, it's weirder than ever, is that, um, I had, like, a dream when I was a kid. Uh, I barely remember it, but it, it was, like, like, me, I was, like, in a little, like, sphere, like, a, a glass sphere. And, like, in the glass sphere, it was, like, a world, like, a beautiful little world. Like, a, like, no wars, no destroyed cities or whatever. Everything was just... Like, filled with flowers and trees, and everything was so beautiful. Uh, like, all of the birds were chirping and stuff like that. It was super beautiful. Uh, and, like, green, pink, uh, red, yellow, and stuff like that. All of these colors being the primary colors. Uh, it was very beautiful. And I, like, I had a dream that, like, giant people, like, mostly two, uh, like, two... Like two guys were just looking um, at me from well, because you know, like it's like I was like in a little in a little sphere, and like I was like on the on the furniture or something like that, and I, like like two giant people were just looking over me, and just um, seeing how I was doing, and like they were controlling me with a controller, literally. Like, you know, like, a, I don't know, an Xbox controller or, like, a PlayStation 1. And, like, I was moving as they, uh, well, you know, uh, click the buttons and stuff like that. And, uh, like, every time, like, they got away or, like, they had to sleep or go to school or something like that, when they had to shut down the game, 
well, I was like self aware. You know what I mean? Like I I could do anything. It's like I don't remember the 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 kids show or the kids movie. I guess it's not a show. Um, with all of the, like, I think it's it, I think it's Ralph, right? When like all of the game characters are like getting together. I think it's all the bad ones. Like all the bad characters are like, um, talking to each other and stuff like that. Or like uh, getting into a reunion and stuff like that. Well, like, like, there's no players on their games. Like, it was a bit like that. And, like, I was self-aware and I could do everything I wanted in my in my game and stuff like that. And then I just remembered about, uh... For some reason, it reminded me of Detroit. You know, like, becoming slowly more and more deviant. And I'm like, if this is a game... If this is literally a game, or, like... Yeah, I think for me it's more a game than a simulation because a simulation it would be weird. Uh and like like we are in this world, like in this game, and like trying to figure out what is going on. And like I guess I can call myself like a self-aware character because well, it's like it's like Doki Doki Literature Club. Like Monica like got like is getting more and more self-aware and just and is just destroying the others because she knows that you're the only one that she can get with because you're the only real one and because she's real as quote unquote real as well she wants to be with you but she's stuck in that game um so that's why she wants to talk with you for hours and hours and stuff it reminds me a bit like baldy do you remember Baldi? <laughs> that game is not like forgotten already. <laughs> no, sorry. I I I love Baldi's basics and education and learning. I don't know why. I mean, it's completely dumb. It completely like the the graphics are just horrible and stuff like that. I mean, it was made on purpose because it would it was made on in two weeks and stuff like that. But like, it's super horrible, but it's super awesome at the same time because it's so well made. Even if it's horrible, it's just wonderful. It's so bizarre. Anyway, do you remember like the first notebook that you get when you get like all the answers right? Uh, Baldi says, "Wow, you exist!" And like, um, uh, Mad Pat said in his theory that it means that uh, Baldi, the playtime girl, uh, the bully, uh, the broom, uh, the, the first prize, the principal. You know, all these all these characters are real. Like, they exist in a real world. It's just that, like, they were humans at first. Like, uh, what, is, what is his name? Like, uh, the, the guy that got trapped into Baldi's office. I don't remember his name. Um, like, he was a human before. He, he said it. He was a human before, but, like, um, he got sucked into the game. A bit like these old, like, cartoons. Half cartoons and half real. Like, um, uh, Cool World, Cool World, yeah, like, these type of things, or, like, uh, Roger Rabbit, or stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, these, like, half cartoon, half, uh, real world, you know, like, with, like, cartoon characters and real characters being in the same world, I guess, and stuff like that, like, working together, it's a bit like this. And like, like, uh, yeah, like the the, um, the principal character just gets sucked in the the cartoon and like ha like has to live into the cartoon, uh, like for for the rest of his life, uh, and stuff like that, or at least if uh, uh everything just doesn't like get real or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I did watch those movies because they're, they're like I don't know, like love based. I don't know, I don't like love stories and all like or like love movies, I just hate them. I don't know, it just annoys me. <laughs> um It's always the same things as well. Uh yeah, so it reminded me a lot about this because well, it's just like a re maybe it was like a player, like he got sucked in both his basics and now like he's well dealing with all these guy all these guys. And apparently, like, Baldi was a real teacher and stuff like that. Like, got sucked into the game. Uh, like, he... Like, he... Oh, wait. 
Oh, wait a minute. Maybe because like Baldy was like a real guy and like he wanted like to check for like uh, games for his um, pupils and stuff like that. So he searched for uh, like kids games and stuff like that, and he then he got like uh, Baldy's bases and stuff and. I should say I should stop saying stuff like that. <laughs> uh, like he 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 found both these basics, uh, the game. Maybe it was maybe it wasn't called like this before. Maybe maybe it was like uh, I don't know. Pfft, I don't know. And some name I guess. <laughs> and like he was playing the game to see if it would suit his pupils and stuff like that. Like the 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 kids and stuff like that. So he played the game, but then he got sucked in, and then like, and then like he got to be Baldy, uh, and became like he evil and stuff like that. Uh, and then like the playtime girl, it was like a real girl, and then she played the game and got sucked in. Same for the principal, the bully and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, it makes sense. And then like, um. Uh, uh, Baldi saying, "Wow, you exist. You're not just a character in the game file. You know what I mean? Like you're not just a character. A bit like uh, Yuri, Natsuki, and Sayori in uh, Doki Doki Literature Club because they're just characters. But then Monica just discovered that you weren't just a character. You were like a self-aware uh, person. So she was like, wait, wait, I am self-aware, and this one is self-aware. I need to talk to him. You know what I mean?" If that's if that's like uh, both these basics. That's exactly the same thing. My God, one hour of video, jeez, <laughs> I didn't realize this. Um, yeah, it's like Baldi, like he's saying, "Wow, you exist. You're not just a a character in the game files. Um, uh, just you know, like being, I don't know, just a character. You know, acting like a character and everything. You're like a real person. So like maybe I don't know." Oh, I have a theory that maybe like when they kill you or like Baldi, uh, <clears throat> in this scenario, like when Baldi kills you, he maybe like, um, uh, like trap you, he traps you or something like that. Like he he makes you go into the game and like trap you into the game forever or stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like all the others. Because maybe they're, like, jealous of you being, like, uh, in the world, like, you know, on Earth. And, like, not in the game, not stuck in the game, so... They just want you to be in the game, like, like them. So that's why Baldi's, like, mad at you and, and everything. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that even make, made sense. But, you know what I mean. And those things, like, can work in the real world. Like, I don't know. Because, yeah, it's like we are, like, in the big giant game. Because if you look at some people, because us, we're not normal people. Like, j just think about it. We're not normal. We're completely insane. We're weird to the society and stuff like that. I mean, I am. I don't know about you if you're normal or whatever. But I don't think so. I, I, I guess that... Like, uh, like ninety five percent of uh, of the viewers that are watching this video right now are complete insane people. <laughs> They're not normal for the society. I mean, the society just scare like uh, I don't know, uh, like not accepting us and everything. So. Um, <laughs> And, like, just look at these people that are very normal, like, they are very happy, everything is just going very well for them, they're living their beautiful life, uh, they, like, all they know is taking selfies with the girls and stuff, going into parties at night and everything, you know what I mean? Like, all these normal things that humans do, <laughs> that humans do. Uh, that we don't, <laughs> that we don't, because we're like, no, I just don't want to see people as there, straight, straight into it. I just don't want to see you guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, like just look at them. 
Because I guess we are self aware, but they are just characters. You know what I mean? Like, for me, like these people are just normal characters, but we are like self aware characters, just like Monica or Baldy or anything. Like, it's so weird just to think about it. It could explain a lot, but it's so weird. Oh my god. And Mio, uh, when I when I when I told the the theory to my mom, because my mom is like worse than me. She believes in nothing, like literally nothing. Like even if you have proof and stuff, she would not believe you, um, except for some uh, things that I don't know if I can talk about. Um, uh, I mean, sh I guess she believes in ghosts, stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, she believes in it, but she don't. She doesn't. She doesn't as well. Because every time, like I say, like um, uh, every time that I talk with her about um a theory or like uh something about paranormal or stuff like that she just completely shuts me down and like uh, saying no it's not real stop looking at the uh, uh, like things that don't make sense on the internet or stop uh, looking at these um, idiot um, theories and everything and me I'm like no they're not idiot they're very w like well thought and very clever but like she believes in ghosts because, like, my father saw my grandmother's ghost and she believed him. Uh, oh, by the way, did I, did I tell you before that I was, I was not supposed to be here? I, I, like, I wasn't supposed to exist? Nope. <laughs> I was supposed to quote-unquote die, I guess? Because, like, when my mom and my father... Um, uh, well, created me, quote unquote. Um, like they were in a house, uh, that that was haunted by my uh grandmother, uh, in my mother's family. And like, uh, and apparently she started to appear when I was like in my mom's stomach. You know what I mean? Uh, and like because my father had nightmares about her and like. He was scared of her and everything. He he tried to tell my mom and my mom didn't believe him. And then like he like during the night he heard some weird sounds and he got up and he looked at the corridor and apparently he saw my grandmother. So he got super scared and he cried and stuff like that. I mean, my father is completely insane. He's not like a, a normal guy. He's insane. That maybe that's why I'm like this as well. Because he has some mental issues. I mean, I mean, you just just talk to him, and then you'll see. <laughs> like you just hear from his voice how he talks and stuff. He's worse than me. Uh, he's weird. So maybe, maybe I, I should be so sur that surprised that I'm that weird. I guess quote unquote weird because I I don't think I am. Like, I don't think the word weird is the proper word to use there. Uh, but, like, yeah, so he got super scared. He cried. And, like, he called out my mom. And he was like, oh, my God, I saw. I saw your, I saw your, uh, your mom and stuff like that in the hallway and everything. So he, like, uh, my mom got super scared. And then they moved out. And they moved out here in the house where I am right now. And I got born. <laughs> I was born in, you know, in 2001, uh, like a normal baby girl uh, in a hospital, so, of course, <laughs> and, um, but, which is weird is that she, she started to appear when I was in my mom's stomach, and apparently, that, I mean, that's what my mom said, uh, told me, maybe, like, uh, my... Like, my grandmother didn't accept another person in the house. Because, apparently, like, she was looking at my mom and my father. Uh, 
to see like how how their life was going and stuff like that. And maybe like she was jealous or something like that, or like she didn't want my mom to have a kid or anything. So like because when my bro, um, when my bro got born, um, uh, they didn't have the house. So yeah, so nothing like that could happen. But uh. But then, uh, so when they were in that house, and then my my parents uh, created me, uh, everything started to get weird and everything. So maybe like she wanted to, like to, I don't know, to distract my parents, to get to me better or something. Like that. I don't know. It's just scary, but I don't know. Like my grandmother maybe didn't accept my presence in the house. Even if I was just in my mom's stomach, uh, well, I mean, it's, no, stomach is not the right word to use. Wait, right? It is not the right word to use. Well, no, in my mom's belly, um, well, um, like she, she was like, oh no, who is this? Like I, I feel not the presence or something like that. And then maybe she wanted like to. I don't know. For me, like maybe she she would like kill me or something like that because apparently she was completely well. She she used to like beat my mom. Uh, like she was beating my mom when she was a kid. So, um, yeah, with like you know the routine, uh, and everything. That's why my mom was like a, a very good student. Like she, she was the best student in her, in her school because she had to, uh, because if not, if she had like a bad grade or whatever, well, she will get spanked with a ruler because her mom was a teacher. Yep. So, <laughs> can you imagine this? Like having like your mom is a teacher, and he, like when you come home and then you have like something bad to say to your mom and you're like. <gasps> How dare you then you just get you know destroyed by your mom or your dad or whatever <laughs> reminds me a lot of all these basics <laughs> like oh, you got one question wrong you I'm, I'm gonna murder I'm gonna murder your you and your entire family <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna be here with us forever so yeah <laughs> so yeah so when my mom told me this, I was scared because I was like, "Oh, can you imagine? Just like my my grand my grandmother could have killed me." Um, it's so weird. So I guess I was not supposed to be here. Oh my god! It's so weird just to think about it. <laughs> oh my god! It's so bizarre. I'm still very tired. It's... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just... Wait. I'm having like gag reflexes. It's just horrible. What is happening? <laughs> Oh, my eyes are crying. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I'm gonna end the video, this video now because I don't want to get sick on <laughs> while I'm recording. No thanks. Like, I don't want to have like gag reflexes here or stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, I have nothing else to talk about. Uh, but the theories. Well, I ha we have nothing to say about the theories because, well, we don't know what the blue and red light mean. Uh, what is anti up to? Uh, same for Chase, for Schnee, Jackie Boyman, Marvin, Jameson Jackson, even Robin, or even, I don't know, about Mark, because Mark, apparently, apparently on Mark's, like, uh, accounts, apparently there's, like, some weird shit happening as well, because, like, the mayor is coming back, and stuff like that, and, there, and like, a lot of people are like, how the mayor is coming back? How is that even possible? Because he's dead. You know, so how is that even possible? Because he, he's well, part of 
Dark Blur. So everybody was like, oh my god, Dark Blur is coming back. Ah, scream, everybody. So, yeah. Um, not for now, at least. Because, it, like, it was complete fire on Mark's community. Um, like, some week, some weeks ago. But not anymore, like, it calmed down. But uh, us in the Jackson the Guy community were completely on fire. We're like, we don't know what to do anymore. Shit. <laughs> Oh my god, everything is just like, being completely insane and stuff like that. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm super sick and this is horrible. 